Hello friends, this is the very first video on dynamic programming. In this video and in the coming videos, we'll explore this concept. So what's so dynamic about dynamic programming? Dynamic programming has actually nothing to do with dynamic. It's just the name Bellman used to hide his mathematical work from his boss. You can read the whole story in his own words in this slide. So what is dynamic programming? Let's understand it fearlessly. Dynamic programming is an algorithmic approach. So basically it's an approach by which you try to solve your problem. Surely there will be some problems which you can solve by it while others you can't. So when should we apply dynamic programming? There should be two properties which your problem should have. First is optimal substructure and second one is overlapping subproblems. I will not discuss them in detail until we see this example. So let's understand it with a very simple example of Fibonacci numbers. You have to calculate the nth Fibonacci number. You must be knowing about it, but just for the sake of completeness, if you take 0 and then 1, let's call it F0 and call it F1. So adding these two, you will get 1. So this is your F2. Now adding F1 and F2, you will get 1 plus 1, 2. So this is your F3. Now adding F2 and F3, you will get F4, which is equal to 3. So continuing in this manner, for Fn, you need Fn minus 1 plus Fn minus 2. So it's very easy to calculate Fibonacci number. So here's the code for calculating n Fibonacci number and we have taken n is equal to 5. So we need to calculate F5. So here it all starts F5. For F5 you need to calculate F4 and F3. For F4 you need to calculate F3 and F2, F3, F2, F1 and finally for F2 you need to calculate F1 and F0. But when you will pass 1 to the function it will return us 1 and when you pass 0 it will return us 0 1 plus 0 so f2 will return 1 to f3 and f1 will will also solve f1 so it returns 1 to f3 so finally you get 2 here so we have solved f3 for f4 and now we need to solve F2. Though we already have solved it, but again, we are solving it. For F2, you need to solve F1 and F0. So you are again going to solve F1, though you have already solved it. So 1, 0. 1 plus 0 is 1. So 2 plus 1. F4 is 3. Then you have solved F4 for F5. Now you need to solve F3 again. For F3 you need to solve F2, then F1, then F0. This is 1, this is 0. 1 plus 0 is 1. This is 1. 1 plus 1 is 2. So finally you got 5 here. But don't you think that we are solving the same problem again and again? Yes. And one more thing, for F5 you need to calculate F4. For F4 you need to have F3 and F2. For F3 you need to have F2 and F1. So if you get F2 and F1, then you can calculate F3. If you have uh, F2 and F3, then you can calculate F4. So can't I say that it has optimal substructure property? That if I can find the solution of the subproblem, then I can find the best solution for the problem also. Then it has 
repeated problems, overlapping sub problems. So both the properties that the problem should have when we can apply dynamic programming approach are here. So that's why we'll use dynamic programming to solve this problem. Time complexity is order of 2 power n if you use this recursive method. Now let's see how our time complexity reduces when we use dynamic programming. There are two types of dynamic programming approaches. The first one is bottom up. In this approach, all sub problems which are used in our program is solved in advance. And after this, we use these sub problems to build up larger solutions. So let's see, we are taking the same example. Now you again want to calculate F5. F5. So for F5, start with the smallest sub problem. What it could be? It is F0. So F0 is equals to 0. You know about this. Then F1 will always be 1. Now if you know F0 and F1, you can easily calculate F2. It is 1. Then F3. It is 1 plus 1, 2. Then F4. It is 3 and finally F5 it is 5. So you started with smaller problems and moved ahead. This is the concept in bottom up dynamic programming approach. You can use an array for storing these values. So if you use this approach the time complexity reduces and now it is order of n. Also you need extra space to store it. Uh, so space complexity is also order of n. Now let's see the second strategy that is top down. In this approach we don't calculate all sub problems first rather we start with the big big problem and each time we solve sub problem and store it in a table. And if the sub problem repeats then we take its value from the table. So initially we will initialize all the array with some negative value because Fibonacci numbers cannot be negative. So minus 1, minus 1, minus 1, so I am storing minus 1 at each index, 0, 1, 2, 3, 4 and 5. This is my February, I am saying it F. So this contains minus 1 at each index. Now you need to find F5. So you need to find F4 and F3. Now you should have F3 and F2. For this you have to have F2 and F1. Then F1 and F0. So, if we will pass 1 to the function, it will return 1. And for 0, it will return 0. So, 1 plus 0 is 1. And as fib2 or f2 contains minus 1, so we will store it in this array. So, at f2, we will store 1. 1 plus 0 is 1. Next, F1, again, it will return 1. So, 1 plus here, we have 1. So, 1 plus 1, 2. So, in F3, you will store 2. Then, you have uh, F2. For F2, you will go in this array. And you will see that it doesn't contain minus 1. So, it will return the value in it. It has 1. So, F2 will return 1 to you. F3 has 2, so 1 plus 2, 3. And since it contains minus 1, we will store the next value which is 3. For F3, you already have 2, so you don't need to calculate it. You simply use it. And then finally, 3 plus 2 equals to 5. So here is your answer.
again here the time complexity is order of n because we are calculating each sub problem only once so time complexity and space complexity both are order of n there are many applications of dynamic programming uh, but few of them are like tower of hanoi zero one knapsack problem matrix chain multiplication longest common subsequence traveling salesman problem so there are many applications of it and we'll discuss all these applications in coming videos thank you so much for watching this video subscribe our channel for more such videos and please comment below if you have any query or if you have suggestions to make it better thank you so much